Traitor, we'll deal with you. Quotes from Khashoggi murder tapes released. Here's a summary of the article. A Turkish news website has released the first quotes from audio tapes purportedly of Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi's last moments before he was murdered at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul on October 2. Release my arm. What do you think you are doing? Website Haberder, quotes Khashoggi as saying at the consulates, a unit, where the visa department is located, and where seven minutes of the tape are recorded. Khashoggi was reportedly met by four people, one of whom grabbed his arm as soon as he entered the consulate, Haberdirk said. The four take Khashoggi to the administrative B unit, of the consulate. Three more people join them here, including one whom Haberdirk claims was Mar Abdulaziz Mutreb, the alleged leader of the 15-man, execution squad. One other person is identified as Saudi Consul General Mohammed Al-Otaibi. Traitor. You will be brought to account, Mutreb is heard shouting, according to Haberdirk. The rest of the audio includes what Haberdirk describes as verbal fighting, brawling and torture. This post received a score of 33,722, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. How many thinks the tape will end up on LiveLeak in the end? Oh, I think we have at least three more weeks of tidbit headlines to go. Damn watching all these movies about spies and shit, kinda made me think they'd be a bit better at assassinating a dude, this is as sloppy as it gets. I mean they only did it on camera. They did. That's how they made the spy movies to begin with. Well, Saudi's crown prince said he had nothing to do with it, so it looks like this case is closed. He said it and he said it strongly therefore it's true, Putin. Kim Jong-un. Mohammed bin Salman. Curious who we'll see added to this list. I don't think he's lied for Duterte yet but he has expressed his admiration for him. Has Duterte even tried to lie or cover up anything he's done? He seems to take pride in flaunting his actions, regardless of what the rest of the world might think. Has he executed his son yet? I remember he was up to his eyeballs in illegal drug shit that would have earned anyone else a visit from the friendly neighborhood extrajudicial hit squad. Of course not. Anyone who believed he wouldn't turn a blind eye to his friends or end up killing problematic people for him was being an idiot. It's easy for a piece of shit to execute random civilians, not so much family or friends. Edit, grammar. I wonder what would happen in the Philippines if drug dealers just started murdering and planting drugs and taking video of higher profile government people like Duterte's son. It'd be hard to do but if drugs are that much of a problem the cartels are probably desperate for some action. Without a doubt they've already planted drugs on people. There's basically a 0% chance people have not been framed and murdered for a variety of reasons, both people Duterte wanted to kill and people just taking out competition. Once it leaks, this will be the snuff tape heard around the world. The reason for that is Saudi incompetence, something that runs bone deep among the kingdom's elite. They're rich, incompetent people who are too stupid and lazy to do their jobs but insecure and vicious enough to overreact to minimal threats and damage both their country and the world in the process. One way to know that this was the prince's personal pooch screw is that people who have never been to KSA probably underestimate the extent to which the Saudis are disconnected from a lot of the work that takes place in their country. Like a medieval state before the advent of nationalism, they farm a lot of that stuff out to people who are not from Saudi Arabia, kind of like the way the Ottomans used Greeks as their diplomatic corps. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.